Hey guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you a Dokkan battle related video today. Basically, a couple of weeks ago, I almost permanently lost my account, and I'm not gonna lie, it was probably one of the most stressful 48 to 72 hours of my life. A couple days later, talked about the whole thing in a video, and as I was scrolling through the comments, I started to realize that it was actually a much more common issue than I had expected. And I was like, you know what? This was a horrible experience. I don't want to go through it again, but I can maybe turn this negative into a positive by making this video to teach those of you who are in a similar situation how to get your account back from Bandai if you lose it. To be honest, the whole process is quite simple. The first step will be to visit this page right here. I'll put a link in the description for you guys so it's easy to find. Honestly, I just found it by typing in Dokkan Battle Account Recovery into Google, but I'll save you some time. There's a link in the description right now. You want to scroll down to the bottom. There's a lot of information here but it's not really that important. You can read it if you want to. The main thing you want though is this link at the bottom here that says send email. Click that link and if you have some sort of you know email client, it will take you to there. So I have Outlook open right now and it will allow you to send a blank email. Well, it's not really blank. It says please do not change subject, but the email can be blank. The main thing you want is this email right here and this subject line. So this will tell them that you are looking to recover an account and then they will send you a form to fill out after that. So here's the email. If you guys don't have any kind of email client, then just make sure that you're sending an email to this right here, bncrssup underscore api at crais.channel.or.jp. I don't know why it's so complicated, but that's the email. Make sure you get it right. And the subject is 7EDA. Make sure that's all correct. Subject can be blank, doesn't really matter. Once you send that, you will get a automatic response. And since I've already done that, I already got my form. The automatic response will have a link, by the way, to your specific form. It expires in two hours, so make sure that you fill it out ASAP. Now, you're at your form, you're here to enter the information that they want from you so that they can confirm this is in fact your account and you're not trying to steal someone else's account. So the first thing they want to know from you is your user ID. That's the number combination that people use to add you as a friend in the game. So enter that into the first field. Next one is your username. So that's actually whatever you call yourself in the game. The next one is your user rank. So this one can be a little bit tricky because it might be kind of hard to remember what your exact rank was when you lost your account. So try to get it as close as possible. Uh, date of last login, so whenever you lost your account, I guess, or if you didn't log in that day, then whenever you remember the last time you logged in was. Did you purchase Dragonstone? So this one's actually an important one. If you're a free-to-play player, then obviously you just click no, you move on, but if you are a pay-to-play player and you have purchased Dragonstones, then click yes, and then go to the transaction ID information. This is actually very, very key because this information is only available to the person that owns the account because when you make a purchase, in the game, they'll send you an email, and the email contains some very specific transaction information that you can then enter into this field, and it's pretty much guaranteed that they'll give you your account back in that case because, you know, literally no one else should have that information unless you got hacked or something, right? Now, the order you want to enter this information in is OS type, and then the code that is provided in the transaction email as well as the date of purchase, the time of purchase, the cost of the purchase, and also how many stones you purchase. So just lay it out in that format. You can do as many as you want. I think I went with three different transactions and that was totally enough for me to get my account back, but you can go crazy if you want. I wouldn't recommend doing too many, maybe like three or four at most, but just make sure that all the information is accurate. You can get it all from the email that you got when you purchase their stones and you're good to go for here. So this next part can be kind of tricky because they want to know the dates that you created the account. And I know most people probably didn't write down the exact day they made their Dokkan account. So it's going to be kind of hard to pin down that exact time. But actually, as long as you get it within the right month, maybe two or three months, you should be good to go. Try to go back to see if you have any records, maybe any screenshots you took or any posts you made on Instagram or whatever it is, try to find something that will allow you to kind of estimate the right time and you're okay there. All right, so after that, you come to this big part where they want you to enter some information about some characters. And honestly, this part kind of confused me when I first did it because I'm like, I got so many characters in my box. What exactly are they looking for, right? But what I ended up doing was actually listing a team that I had set up on my account and you guys can do the same. So let's say you remember that 
you were using a super int team and it was led by super Gogeta, right? Then you just start with int Gogeta and then start listing from there. So let's say the first guy was in Gogeta and I'm gonna go over here to see what exactly his name is and his type and everything like that. So this is in Gogeta. You guys can go to the Dokkan Wiki or DBZ space to find all this information about every single card in the game. In Gogeta is called Outshining Darkness Super Gogeta. So you just go Outshining Darkness Super oh, Super Gogeta. And then for rarity, you would put UR, unless he's not awakened yet, then you would put... Actually, no, he has to be UR because this is the awakened one. Obviously, you put whatever your character is in. If he's in the SSR state, then you put SSR, and he will have a different name as well. And then the type would be Int, and you just go down from there. Let's say the next card you had on that team was LR Gohan. You go find LR Gohan on Doka Wiki, enter his information, and you go from there. So after you get those six characters, the next two, I just put two of my most recently acquired characters. So I think at the time I had just pulled uh, AGL Kid Boo and Int Demigra. So then I put the information for those two guys as well. They don't make it very clear exactly what they want, but I think that should be good enough for them. So moving on to the next part, uh, last quest played. Try your best to remember if it was maybe, I don't know, the Int Potential Orb stage or the AGL Potential Orb stage or maybe the Hercule Hercule statue stage, whatever it was, try your best to remember and put it there. Uh, last played summon and acquired character. So if you can remember the last summon you did on that account, that would be the best case scenario. So let's say you were playing at a time when, you know, just for example, the LR Gohan featured banner was on and you did a single on it and you pulled an R nail. <laughs> that would be the best case scenario, right? If you can remember all those details. So put that in there to your best ability. If not, then just skip it, I guess. Last issue, transfer code. Um, if you guys are smart and write down transfer codes that you create, or maybe save it, save a screenshot of it somewhere, then you can put it there. If not, then we're gonna move on. Device used before transfer. So this one, be careful, because <laughs> I know some people out there, a lot of people out there probably use emulators at some point. Bandai, for some reason, is absolutely has a no emulator rule. So if you tell them that you were using an emulator, they will not help you. So make sure that you actually put some kind of mobile device or maybe like, you know, an Android tablet or an iPhone or whatever it is, right? Just whatever it was, don't put, don't put emulator. If you used emulator, then just say Android phone or something like that. And then the time zone, basically whatever time zone you're in, Pacific Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time, Central Standard Time, whatever. Um, device model used for last login, so if you're using your phone, just enter the model of your phone. If you're using tablet, put the model of your tablet. And OS version, this could be a bit tricky. Try your best to find the OS version of your phone. If not, then maybe Google it. Google like the most recent Android OS, and that would probably be the one. But don't worry too, too much about it. Um, here we go. Users app version. If you were, if you're looking for a recovery for the global, for a global account, then put global version. If it's for a JP account, then put JP version. And the last but not least, why you lost your account. And this reason, don't go too into too much detail. Um, my friend, one of my friends just said, lost transfer code. Or if you broke your phone and your phone was on there and you didn't create a transfer code, you didn't link it to Facebook, then put phone broke, didn't link to Facebook. That's all you have to say. You don't have to go into too much detail. I don't think they really care at the end of the day. So after you fill in this whole thing, um, you make sure all the information is right. It will just click confirm. It'll take you to a confirmation page. Read through it again. Make sure that our information is 100% as accurate as possible. And you confirm that and then you're done. Basically, they'll be like, okay, thank you. We've got your form. Wait to hear back from us in some unspecified period of time, usually within a couple hours, I think it was two to three hours for me, I got an automatic confirmation back saying that they have received my email and they're currently reviewing it. And then you just have to wait, you know, depending on how busy they are or how not busy they are, you could hear back a little bit earlier, maybe a little bit, a little bit later, but essentially roughly 40 hours later, you will get a response back from a real person. And if all things go well, if you know everything checks out, they find that you are in fact or believe that you are in fact the owner of that said account, then they will give you your transfer code and you can get your account back and everyone will be happy, right? But if things don't work out, it's okay. Don't lose hope. You can still dispute it and be like, you know what, whatever reason they give you, right? Like why they can't help you, be like, hey, you know, 
this is the reason why. Just let me explain to you why I should be getting my account back. You can dispute it, and if you do dispute it, there's a good chance they'll get back to you and be like, you know what, fine, here's your account back, because that's what happened to me. And um, it all worked out in the end, so it's all good. Anyways, that is the whole process, guys, from start to finish. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll try my best to help you in the comments down below. But, uh, you know, best of luck. I hope everyone gets their accounts back, and uh, make sure that you link it to Facebook next time <laughs> so that it doesn't happen again, because I think most of the time, people lose their accounts because they don't link it to Facebook or create a transfer code. So make sure you do those things so that you don't have to repeat this whole process over again. But anyways, hope you guys found this video informative. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. As always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.